What are digital layers and what is the difference between merging layers and flattening an image? Hello and welcome back to the channel. Let's not waste any time and answer these questions. When you open Krita, you will be taken directly to the default workspace or to your saved custom workspace. Either way, your canvas will always sit in the middle. However, the location of your layers docker will depend on your setup. As you can see, I kept mine on the right side of the screen. At the moment, it only contains the background layer. I advise you to lock it right away so you don't accidentally paint on it. Then add layers on the top and only draw or paint on those. To add a regular paint layer, click on the plus sign button. However, if you need to add a special layer, such as a clone layer or a vector layer maybe, you will need to click on the small arrow drop down menu located right next to the plus sign button. Then a small panel will appear with a list of all the other types of layers you can add. Now look at what happens when I turn off the background layer. A checkerboard pattern appears. When you see this pattern, it means that the layer is transparent. Using the plus sign button, I am going to create a new paint layer above my background. As you can see, the checkerboard pattern remains. Now let's see what happens when I add a vector layer. Same thing here. Every new layer that you will create in a digital art will always be transparent, no matter what software you may use. If you are still confused, watch this little demonstration. On one side, I am going to add three layers of paper with a different shape drawn on each one. On the other side, I am going to add three digital layers and paint the shapes as I go. Now take a good look. On the left side you can see the three shapes thanks to the semi-transparent quality of the tracing paper I used. And on the right side you can still see the three shapes thanks to the transparency of a digital layer. So in simple terms you could think of digital layers as if they were tracing paper. Working with the transparent layers allow us to do a lot of things. Being able to see what is below or above gives us a huge advantage since we can edit or adjust in real time each of our layers separately without affecting the image that we have below or above. We are in full control. Let's look at this example. Because I can see the forest underneath, I am able to spot a better location for my character bird. Working with transparent layers allows me also to add many effects. For example, here I can blur this layer. And here I can change the blending mode to another one.
In order to merge layers together, you must first select the layers of interest. Then you can combine them into one by using the shortcut Ctrl plus E. The most important thing to remember here is that when you merge layers, their transparency quality remains intact. There are two ways to select layers. The first one is to use the Shift key and select the layers that are close to each other. And the second one is to use the Ctrl key. By holding the key down, you can select layers located away from each other or separated by other layers that you don't want to select. Flattening an image is uh, very similar to uh, merging layers, uh, the only difference being that it combines all the layers present in the docker and uh, locks them as background. Now, what I am about to tell you is uh, very important, so pay attention. <laughs> Make sure to always save your work first as a Krita file before to flatten your image. This way you will have a backup and all your layers will be saved and safe to use and edit again later on. When you flatten an image and save it as a PNG or JPEG file, you can no longer edit it as you did before when the image was separated into layers. Let me show you what I mean by that. As you can see here, if I wanted to move a bird again, I would have to select it first with the lasso tool. And then I would be able to move it using my moving tool. However, by moving it, I have now created a huge hole. Now that hole cannot be easily fixed. Maybe you could use the clone stamp brush and fill the hole, but this will take forever and wouldn't look very good. And we are done for today. I hope this answered all your questions. See you next time. Thank you for watching. Au revoir et à bientôt.